Hi, I'm Thomas Elfrick, your host. If this is your first time here, it's a hope it is the first of many. And if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Our mission is to help entrepreneurs get better at entrepreneurship. And we're doing this through the stories and journeys of other entrepreneurs, wherever they are on their journey, just starting, just planning in the middle of it, exiting. You can learn something from their journey. And that form of micro mentoring really helps you, uh, you know, kind of cut the tie, so to speak, to the things that hold you back the anchors in your life, those excuses you know you're making, and all those fears for some reason you still want to hold on to. So we're going to kind of help you think through this. If you can get one thing out of today's show, you've done what you needed to to, to move forward. Uh, before we get going, meet our guest today. I'd love if you guys listen. This is so important to the community and to the uh, guests. If you could do the five-star review on, Apple's, uh, on Apple, on, on Spotify, on Amazon, that stuff, uh, those reviews, that just simple task of just saying, hey, I like it, uh, really helps bring more attention to our mission. And if you could try the YouTube channel at youtube.com at never been promoted. Um, thank you so much for, for joining. Let's meet Matthew Lynch. He is the co-founder of the Christos Commission Covenant Conglomerate Corporation, five C's. I've heard of five, like five star diamond, like gambling, but not five C's. So this is more faith based. Matthew, uh, welcome to the show. Oh, so good to be here, Thomas. So, um, yeah, C five four. C five four is that the is that the right way to say it? C five four. Five fold, um, like um, fold, five fold, um, five fold way of thinking. You know, pentagramal um, uh, ministry of you know guiding you ultimately to one point um, and one thing at a time. But you know, as that as that shifts and teaches you to then create, you know, to go forth and multiply, right. To create this sort yeah. of access point and then propelling you forward is incredible. And so that's just one of many gifts of benevolence, which we're trying to make very accessible in the, you know, you take the word Christos, which is anointment. Uh, so, you know, you think anyone is in favor of being anointed, right. Of being anointed towards benevolence. You have the kind of the, if you want to make it math, uh, good, better, best 30, 60, 90, right. Um, this, this creator of benevolence saw, saw it after creating it, you know, saw it and it was good. Saw the opportunity for betterment, saw what was best about it, saw what was good and saw, and those things are so incredible. So if we can just kind of get our feet wet with it, um, you know, be immersed in it, um, go far and wide in what our callings are, uh, honor humility, which is paradigmal, you know, paradigmal in its per, per, perplexing uh, sort of way of you want what you don't want, um, but then you start to not want what you want. And ultimately you start yeah. wanting what you want. And it's incredible. Um, so well, that's, I think that's a, that's a good place for an icebreaker here. So let me, let me, yeah, uh, awesome. we're going to, we're going to dive into your, the five fold and uh, the five C five C we're going to get into that. Here's my break. Since it's Christian kind of, you know, religious faith-based idea you have, which, yeah, of the original disciples of Jesus, would you have been? <laughs> so namesake of Matthew, right? First, first of the New Testament um, in the Gospels, rather. Um, or so you can tell I'm still in all, all, all things new, right? As we approach these things with a bit of candor and a, a bit of um, then bringing in our, our talents and our innocence as our personhood. Um, I, I do want to add that, um, you know, they, they say that um, that is written that um, nothing shall separate from Christ's love. So um, that, uh, you know, in that way of understanding one another, it will even be, you know, you'll have to push off this well-believing believer and say, stop, stop causing this other person to fall short of the glory of God. Right. Which is to send. And, and then you have uh, this perplexing moment and say, why? And well, it was kind of it was both. Right. And just, just, you know, if you can honor that. Uh, we can go to all these different places and be in this universal centered fashion uh, and and at times do so through grace, right, which can hold down these 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 parts of us that we don't know how to quite hold down. It comes to like Job, where, um, you know, he, he was sort of wondering if he should curse God and then was thinking like in that conversation. No, I don't you know, that's a tough thing to say. So I'm Sorry to the, the the listeners who are scrutinizing, but um, is like uh, the the inner workings of everything going on at all times, right? Uh, and then to plead to benevolence to have an exact moment, which I witness all day, every day, to answer prayers and miracles, and 
it's incredible. And and by being in line with, as they say, peace like a river, uh, you, you're not being outlandish in what you go for, right? You're you're starting to want what a commonality wants. And in that, I think it keeps a lot of things open for diversity, for interruptibility, for re- redundancy. And yeah, I don't want to um, miss any points by talking too fast, but like uh, it's, it's central to um, mind, body, and soul, right? Is even when they, they, it's written that when two gather in, in you know, I'll say in benevolence's name, right, into this creator, creator, living dynamism uh, that is to be had a relationship with, whether that be, hey, like, let me do my thing, and then, hey, you have my back, right, and then, you know, or however it goes, um, hey, what can I do for you? What, how can I go forth and be most like you? All these things are ultimately so so we're known by name right um yeah they, they have a uh, written down uh precise name like on on a, on a scroll in heaven and uh heavenly places and then you know and to you know jazz up is like you know they talk about the generation that shall not pass after the uh reform after the nation of um belief that you know the calling of israel was uh, reformed and um so with with patience and with uh godspeed you know patience for sometimes saying okay i gotta uh get up and have a 24-hour day here and i don't know how i'm gonna do it but i gotta have patience for that right or however my go these things are so incredible um no weapon shall prosper all things you know through through anointment through christ um, yeah. so thanks for letting me well, get so much out here so fast and now yeah, i'm looking no, forward great. to like, we'll, we'll yeah, talk, we'll just, that's pretty we'll Take a bubble up, back it up a little bit, just, you know, in a few minutes, talk about kind of your origin, your backstory and how you got to founding what you're, you're working with right now. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I had some moments like when I was young where, you know, I would um, gather all the church regalia and things like that. And, and I was so impressed by that benevolence and that relationship. And I just wanted to honor that and, uh, you know, do good. And then from there, it went into, you know, that stubbornness that I think I'm a little gifted by, but also that I have to know myself by um has led to a variety of ways that i want to go forth and that i feel that i'm doing so in cold ways um but in ways that haven't traditionally gelled with the structure of you know church programming church whatever you want to call it uh because they say of course that the living church the capital c church uh shall not like the uh building um may fall shall not fall uh, that was the one and all. Yeah, so I just feel enrichedly, uh, it, uh, enriched um, and overflowing in that way by uh, a variety of things, including how my life was saved when I thought I was um, when I was on the verge of, of several diagnoses, ultimately, and um, you know prescriptions and and and, um, and various prescriptions, and and so it's um, in fact I'm taking a concentration medicine. Uh, that um, through brain scans, we're going to look to see if the areas of my memory, like the hippocampus, are improved if they uh, respond, you know, if they. Uh, so, so you had a life, life-saving, life um, so what was life, a yeah, life-saving yes. event? So, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just could like, you kind of just walked over like, hey, because I got my life saved. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> um, not a lot of people can say they had a life-saving yeah. event. So to talk about that a little bit in your journey here. So I feel my fruits are becoming, you know, we're known by our fruits. I feel my fruits are becoming a little bit less confusing. Uh, because, um, gosh, well, what I was hearing after crawling out of the car that I had um, sent through trees almost into a river. Uh, and my mom, uh, you know, was thankful that that it, that I didn't wind up in the river. Right. And that um, I was just so oblivious. I was just expecting goodness all around. I was I was so inundated and uh, a little bit. Um, in stasis you know, in the shock of like what's next. And, and so, and I think so many people are going through this and they ultimately make profoundly permanent decisions or things that people treat as permanent. And we're in a real wake of how to, how to um, have one another's back and how to um, go forth with confidence in our health and our wealth and our ability. And, and yet, you know, our eternal health and wealth and ability. And, and that's where, that's where it comes in is that I thought I was, um, 
you know, having this this blend of where uh, what, what what I would do would be, you know, most most what I would want to like it would just feel right, right? Knowing, being, and doing. Uh, yeah. uh, that as I, as I saw colors, that those promptings could be correct as to where to go, right? And that as I felt feelings that, and so letting go of the wheel of the car is the most terrible thing, you know, and yet it was the most, uh, you know, profound thing that everyone survived and that I didn't cause a wreck and that I, you know, didn't, uh, uh, um, one word is coming to mind that I don't think is correct. It's like disenfranchised, but like, sure. Like disenfranchised from faith of like those emergency responders who were just listening to me and just thinking, you know, what's, what's going on? Why aren't you, you know, focused or, or what's, what's the, what's the worry. And that's all, you know, at, at one point I had been medicated to the effect of, um, ultimately it's very similar to what I'm diagnosed as now, but, um, when I was medicated to the effect of it, I felt like less, like I would sort of bounce off the walls, uh, because I've always had this, uh, boredom and, and, you know, just with a stubborn stubbornness of wanting to go out and do so many things, wanting to start so many projects, wanting to be involved in yeah. people's things and, and be of help. And I am very giving. So I, I, I ultimately like, don't try to take it as my own, unless I feel that that would be something that is the most humble thing that would allow me to then build something that would affect them positively. Right. And that's ultimately what we're trying to do with the uh, conglomerate corporation. Yeah. Well, to, uh, so, 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 so tell me in like in short kind of with your organization, dive in that just a little deeper. What's, what's the goal mission of it? And, and how are you, how are you, you know, where are you in the mission and where are you on the, on the journey a little bit? And we'll get into kind of the how or how you see it coming after that. So well, tell me what the okay. mission is of, of your organization. So the mission is propelled by uh, the problem statement of falling short of the glory of benevolence um, of of uh, God. Uh, and, and ultimately, you know, through this one person, this most historical figure, uh, you know, all of heaven and earth one day will, uh, you know, pledge that allegiance and, and go forth together into all time. And so what can we do for that now, right? Would be to problem solve for the world world's problems today. And then also to practice for that all time for uh, incentivization of those who are struggling with why and uh, on both sides of faith and belief and um, sort of morale and right. And inclination because, you know, <clears throat> with an ounce of judgment and a pound of mercy is, as they say, sometimes these things that feel that they're so compelling or convicting or condemning uh, one way or another, ultimately through that veilish omnipotent, omnipresent, so on and so forth. Uh, uh, you know, that you can see sort of where I'm going with that is like um, your question was, uh, you know, so our, our, your question was what, like what, what was the problem statement? What is the solution? Well, what wait, our... what, what's the goal of the organization and who the goal, does it right. really? And so, yeah. So who, who yeah, does it help and how do you do it? I'd say the solution is engagement and the, the goal is uh, harmony, right? Where to say peace, it involves um, this principled peace, this passionate prince peace. Um, I'm sorry, passionate peace and this purposeful peace. Uh, so to have harmony would be to have this overlapping piece that may at times take time, right? That Godspeed is as slow as it takes, as fast as it requires, or as you can say, flip those words around and say as fast as it takes or as slow as it requires or so on and so forth. And that um, that way, this FOMO is conquered, this, um, and that can go to any, you know, fear, fear of missing out, right? That can go to any um, generation. So to be um, our one maxim of ours is that we're doing this for tomorrow um, in honor of yesterday through today. And, and, and I think that that is a way of practicing for all time and that you be constantly, as they say, repenting, right. That you constantly get to relive these things and have triggers to what those, those events and those participation in relationship, which, you know, well, to break, it would be that we all come from, right not only that Adam and Eve, but that, that, that rib came from Adam and then that, that Adam came from God and that all of creation came from 
this thy will of executing benevolence over and and by executing but i hate to go off on chances and, and stale anyone but by benevolence allowing for non-benevolence because you allow people to turn around and you allow these benevolent people to not be um uh jaded towards the non non-benevolence you it's forgiveness it's so much skill it's so much yeah. innocence it's which yeah I'm, I'm having a great time I'm re we're really some things are being prompted here and i'm thankful for that and uh look forward to what's next and so uh right that that falling short of the of, of the glory that harmony to be had but it's got to have that engagement right is that it depends on the body going going forth and they say say that um in church is that you know you don't be the church by yourself and and there's evidence for that is the when you gather in my name right and so that's great uh it encourages us there's a, a rabbi who spoke on specialization says that we are special and that by that we should rely on other people who are special and so uh it will really it's taking the higher ground so you may use people who can do good things who are not in a good place and that's that seems like some benevolence right there and then um peace peace be had to both parties there and, and ability and all sorts of things and you know um it's it's really um such a, a bountiful thing to uh you know as they say edify using uh our these core ventures right because we have our may i get into sort of our platform now how we structure these things yeah yeah so yeah, no, we have I, the, I thought you were continuing with it yeah <laughs> absolutely yeah. I would, awesome. what, I, what i'd like to hear is kind of like when does someone come to you like how you know like like okay this person feels like this and what do you do for them like so like how do you do that like how do you help them with benevolence and oh it's so vast no it's it's incredible so being on uh, never been promoted right and and here we are like we we want to start our own podcast studio as well or as well as a podcast licensing uh system um so when it comes to food when it comes to uh membership organization sort of uh membership programming membership app uh uh, and then as it goes into what those people are doing, how they're a part of this conglomerate, right? As a co-founder, as a uh, maybe a chief co-founder, or maybe just a contractor, or maybe a, um, you know, as they have in Co-Create X, uh, a, a partner company, uh, a catalyst. There are so many good um, ways of thinking of how to be involved with this. And so I'll, I'll get into the structure whenever you say is a good time. But yeah, go, whenever you, you like, just yeah, ask, you, you rule the day. But, <laughs> what, what did you just uh, brought up? Well, the, it, what people always want to hear is like how. So let's say I'm I'm in the spot of trying to, you know, be better connected, and and, and I need what you need. But how do you do that for somebody? How do you facilitate that transformation? Yeah. So awesome, man! Awesome because we have our say our venture capital where we help people to get started with their venture, and then we have the name storm, name storming. Uh, which may need to be tweaked to, to fully launch, but these are all DBAs doing businesses as or um, fictitious names, if you want to say, or, uh, right. uh, of the business, um, which is registered on the 21st. And we registered our first conglomerate after that. Um, you know, the average person, right, is able to, through this network that ultimately we can create, um, they can participate in the gig economy, like come home from their um, doing their careen, um, driving around, and take a break and water their plants. And their plants are in the form of trees that they're getting paid to grow because uh, then they've activated their economy so that people can go out into the world and pick up seeds. And we might need to start with some models of growing directly to the city so that people uh, are vetted in how to do pickup and don't get killed crossing the street. And so we have all these uh, you know, things to venture into with business. And then as the founders get involved in their nonprofits and as we do uh, pro bono and get involved with um, legal efforts and, and, and educational efforts and church efforts. And it, it's just fantastic. What we really need to eventually do is be promoted by uh, the central areas where congregations uh, affect change, right? And, and living with them, coming alongside them, allowing them to come alongside us, but then also going to the Vatican, to the um, Baptist, Methodist, so on and so forth, um, convention, um, linking them in, linking uh, in the average uh, church in an average neighborhood, one that applies online or one that, you know, we come into town and we 
uh, do outreach to them. We form a welcome line. We hand out business cards. We recommend franchises that people can get involved with. Um, we have home-based businesses. We have home, um, we have incubating uh, housing efforts with uh, five main uh, brands that can bring housing about in a variety of ways. And then these people can start these home-based businesses and do these gig-based gig -based, um, work from home. But then, of course, we're going to be looking for people to administrate to the conglomerate um, through a variety of, you know, uh, hybrid uh, co-working spaces across the country and across the world. And through uh, our main headquarters in the Chesapeake Bay and then our, our what will eventually become kind of a dispersed West Coast headquarters. And so certainly some sort of um, uh, midway uh, uh, point, maybe um, the Texas triad would make a lot of sense because uh, Minneapolis is close to us with the uh, co-created X company. Um, in, uh, I don't know if they're incorporated or corporation. So, yeah, so we got the, the three main structure that I would just like to say is like the part of Potter's promises is that the it, kind of at the top is like, that's the membership, right? That's the love, your, love your neighbor, love your God. And, uh, and, and with all your heart and all your mind and all your everything. Um, and so thus, do so in a way that is most interruptible and, and redundant um uh, allow allow for you know uh, and most humble is what i'll say because maybe we have to stoke people in certain ways to activate them for an upcoming event and, and through prophecy and all this incredible uh, almost other worldly you know stuff um well in in the sense of how magnificent it is and how yeah remindful it is that we're not just um sort of stuck into creation that there was a very yeah. willful that we're known by name that, that we have a purpose that even as we get ourselves into danger and trouble that all these things and um what's so, up Let yeah so, so the other two are are uh eternal enterprises and holy 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 holdings and and so i thank you for letting me get it out is is we have the investments the endeavoring the membership which is you can help to facilitate that membership you can be a group leader be a uh, a local conference center, B8, et cetera, et cetera, right? There's so many different ways that it breaks down. Uh, and I look forward to this just continuing to grow and we'll have to come back on and be an alumni yeah. and, and and see, if, you know, how we would support then. I, I, um, because, you know, the alumni network you're creating is, is I, I want to see that in a variety of organizations that they provide a platform to the alumni, but then the alumni help to it, it enable the organization to go higher and to endow certain things and to, so best of luck and prayers. That's great. And, and, um, it, and I think, um, I think I want to, I mean, let's pivot the conversation to you a little bit. So yeah. in your own building of this and, and, you know, working through the problems and trying to, what's kind of the biggest lesson you've learned you launching your own, you know, organization, your own, your own purpose. Well, everyone wants to see a good calling. So why me, right? You know, why not the man himself? Or why not at least like a established preacher or a pope or someone? And gosh, did 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 a very influential and important person in my life uh, really inspire me um, by saying that I had fermented well on this and that I had, you know, made things more clear in in, in how to structure it. Uh, it no longer is that we're trying to do all things or boil the ocean or any of that sort of negativity that, because ultimately that's there, there can be these cultishisms that finally, when you make it to the top, you can laugh at them, but gosh, they, they can really, uh, they can really catch you and they can catch other people and cause them to do things that are not helpful. Um, or that under undervalue all the good efforts that you do. Um, and then, you know, so that's why we, that's all the more reason to look for this eternal reward, right? And to look forward to how you, you know, and others are going to build such a, a haven, uh, you know, for, um, and the one adage is that those who love the world, that world to come will do the most for the yeah. world now uh, in order to have the most fast and willful and all participation in that, right? Is that... Yeah. Who's it up to um, this revelatory prophecy, the final one to come, is that, it, it, of course, it's up to that that collective, unified, benevolent force. And it's up to, ultimately, still, the battle's been won, but it's up to uh, the, the individual and the, um, the uh, what, uh, community. And, what kind of keeps you up at night right now? 
Hey, can I finish that real quick? I guess it's a good segue is, you know, uh, dependability on benevolence, dependability for benevolence, right, through this non-wasteful, but yet spilling over uh, in, in nice ways, um, force, and then uh, dependability through your neighbor to achieve that that concerted, uh, you know, oh, yeah, so, of, of course, we're told to be the, the hands and feet. So we just created an exercise called the infinite, infinite exercise. And, and by it, instead of saying the hands and feet, we said the members or we said the membership. Because that that collective of being that right, that that body of anointment, that body of Christ that, that is likened to just as important as the individual right of mm-hmm. having his collective up in right and that he will uh, not forsake the ninety nine for the one. In, in that metaphor, in that uh, parable, but uh, honor that 99 by saying, I'll do the same for you. Right. And hmm. yeah, it's, it's, it seems like such a rich time, you know, uh, Barack Obama had, was famous for that, that quote saying that, you know, we're in this grand, you know, all kind of paradigmal time of very influential, very good, very um, able to do change. Uh, one thing that I, that's always on my forefront of my, you know, mind or thinking or being, or is that uh, data changes at a rate less than two days of what took up till 2010. So it's it's insane, right? Right. And so if you're not very adaptable in what you do, then ultimately you are, I think, worshiping this, this stasis, this, 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 this false God of achievement and stay in the course and, even if you know that that course is winding, but you're, you know, it's there, it, it requires such a diligent tending to, right? You have that fivefold, not in like a just, hey, just consult, you know, your Bruce Almighty phone. Although, <laughs> doesn't that give us something to look forward to? Yeah. Yeah. What's up? I want you to look ahead and imagine you're a year from now and you're looking back and you're like, man, I'm so proud of what? What happened in the next year? What are you going to accomplish the next year? Oh, that you're going to be so you. proud of. Are you kidding me? So that so because right now we're we're as comfortable waiting around for people to um, absorb our message and then through prayerful discernment act on it by supporting us. And that is a variety of institutions, a variety of private you know people, uh, a variety of public private po- partnerships that we really have to spend a lot of time developing and then propose to various municipalities, cities, towns um, in order to uh, show that we have a well-defined footprint uh, through faith, through community, through the congregation, through the church, through individuals, through that's what we're saying. Right. Uh, Mm -hmm. And so it would look like a variety of faithful fast foods or or we call it faithful feast food. And that's faithful with two L's. we uh, we would have a variety of the seed stores uh, locations, you know, either working with municipalities to collect them with their local arborist crews or uh, or their litter crews or so on and so forth. They pick up a couple seeds and uh, take them to the greenhouse and, and grow them and then, you know, um, work with like largely city owned buildings to re- replant uh, the canopy. And um, then furthermore would be to sell them to, say, developers or it, it, homeowners who just bought a developed land that had been cleared or um, and then they get to save on their utility bills. And so I can take any of these business cases. They're so fun. I like, uh, you know, hopping on the back of the dump truck just as much as I like, um, you know, well, I could say a variety of things, but um, it would look like uh, uh, for me, it would look like a couple um, properties owned by myself and by the corporation uh, and able to do good change through that of like um, uh, affecting my business travel uh, enabling me to, to um, be at my best so that I can deliver what's best to others. Because like you say, is that, you know, ultimately this affects people one, one-on-one, whether it is one to many or it, it is. And, it, and through that benevolence, right. is through that one-to-one there. So that's um, whether it be in a sort of a groanful way of like, uh, I'm just barely inkling now to faint call to you. I, I, I recognize you. I love you. I miss you. I think of you. I need your help. I, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, uh, because, geez, to be in this, imagine this. Uh, yeah, let's say that um, 
let's say that if a year was Godspeed, that we'd have like so much done, uh, we would have a VR app, right? We would have a, a right a, a ability to to kind of co-create with God. Like, uh, hey, in, in in this setting, all things are willful, all things are, are consentful, and all things are great. And so, go forth and, and just beam around and, and create things. Yeah. And you'd be, and maybe sometimes the veil would sort of you do one thing and it does something different, or uh, yeah, you know, like what, uh, uh, sort of uh, read you right. Like we have Neuralink coming about, so um, you know, for people to um, be at the best state of that, right? That gosh. Yeah, well, let me ask. So, so who do you want to get a hold of you, and how should they get a hold of you? Thank you. Yeah, um, website is coming together is c number five fold dot com, c five fold dot com. Uh, we also still have eternal enterprises dot org up, and we should still have stewards dot life up, and those really show a variety of all the endeavors that we are getting into, and. Uh, you know, ways of approaching these paradigms because some of them are like communities where we're working with Co-Create X, which delivers own social.io uh, product uh, where you create your own social media, your own social network, I should say. Um, um, and through that, we can do so many uh, phenomenal uh, marketplace and ministry and community uh, exercises and, and ventures and, and um you know, um, my cell phone, I'm happy to give out. My email is, is engage at eternalenterprises.org and connect at c5fold.com. Uh, if you go to eternalenterprises.org right now, it forwards to a link tree where you can sign up for a, a, a newsletter that, that's upcoming. And I would just say to reach out via via phone would be 571-271-7959 because uh, I'm looking for people to outright administer this organization, participate in co-creation of yeah. of what needs to be done. And then, uh, you know, people who are faithful, who want to, you know, pray and uh, do a little bit of work or, you know, say, Hey, I can't, but I just want to talk to you or, you know, that goes such a long way because uh, often I'm, I'm fighting the fight and for me to, to peace make, um, you know, it's, it's about creating these platforms where I can be more impactful than I could be on my own. And um, it's great. Great. Yeah, this, this is, this has been great. Yeah. I thank you. Um, and we Thank definitely you, described it well. And, and, and I think you deserve props for what you're doing to try and reach a, thousand, a million entrepreneurs. And I, I, I pray for you there. And Or I'm sorry, to host I'll a take, million entrepreneurs? I mean, well, I mean, listen, I'll, we'll take any prayer we can get. Our first goal is to help a million entrepreneurs. And if I feel like we can quantify that in some way or another, we'll go, we'll go to the next million. But uh, Matthew, thank you for coming <laughs> on. I really I'd like to see people with bigger purpose ideas. Uh, that are always, you know, based in revenue and not always based in just profit. They're based in helping others. So I appreciate you and the time you've taken to come on today. Gosh, Thomas, I so appreciate it. Very, very uh, kind. And um, I would just say that um, that that is so intriguing that you would close with that because we are looking. Are you familiar with B Corps, Benefit Corporations? Mm -hmm. B Election? Yeah. So, you know, now here's a, a funny way of looking at a benefit corporation, right, is that we can value. Um, creation, all that great stuff that you would expect us to value as a benefit corporation, but we can actually value owner stock above shareholder stock right. because owner operator can pair with investor. And so then we can have a higher level where if you're a pair, anyway, all this great stuff comes to light, right? That we ultimately can be the most profitable organization of all time. Because if we were back when we were having those oysters pillage, you know, uh, pillar through the Chesapeake, uh, we would have known to lead them at certain rates so that we could harvest them at certain rates. And that's no knock on them back then. They didn't have some of the, they had some influences that were going on with trying to advance and so on and so forth. And, you know, it's, it's, a, uh, it's, it's, I would leave on one more thing would be like light life and love, you know, but so honored through that, though, any of those constituents that, you know, um, just blessings and, and, and to all this, uh, those, following um we're working on a referral paradigm so that you know by following us uh you're rewarded for it and that would include mostly on linkedin as we're trying to build our audience of, of professionals and 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 yeah. show what people are out there doing and how they're lending themselves and so yeah i should have mentioned that and i, oh, I thank good, you man. i thank you thomas i thank you listeners I, yeah this is great I, my first I appreciate podcast it, 
Um, I, I really appreciate I it. Thank together. you as well. And, and, and anybody who's made it this point in the show, thank you for so much for coining and joining us today and, and, you know, and listen to Matthew's story and, uh, you know, and, and any, any entrepreneurs on a, on a journey and Matthew's on his to, to do more. And I, I, if you've gotten to this point, guys, thank you. Uh, it's so important to support each other in your journey and in your quest in life and, and learn from, from each other. And, and this is how you get better entrepreneurship. You know, you got to focus, you got to work your heart butt off, but you got to learn to, and learning from others is the way to do it. Uh, until we kind of meet again, I want you to get out there. I want you to go help somebody be an entrepreneur. I want you to find help if you need it, but I want you to get out there and go unleash your entrepreneur. Thank you for listening. Thanks again to instantlyrelevant.com for producing the show, all the social media, all the content, posts, articles, everything. Could not do it without you. Instantlyrelevant.com. Check it out. They're awesome. Once again, instantlyrelevant.com.